Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this hat. It's unisex. You can make it for women or men or children. I think this could be a, a good gift. It's not a long one, but if you want, you can use it with this way too, without any brim. Uh, I'm gonna explain you how to make it longer in the video also so you can use it with a brim and make it longer as you like if you're gonna just make a rectangle and join it so it's so easy uh, i use this yarn yarn be a uh, rustic romantic uh, it's 3.5 oz 220 yard it's a category 4 yarn uh, but not a uh, very thick one uh, and it's acrylic and hemp blend it recommends six millimeter hook but i use uh, 5.5 uh, of course you can uh, choose your own yarn and hook but i think it looks good with this yarn i like this yarn very much so i like this uh, had to hope you like this tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's totally free and uh, if you are ready we can start now first we are gonna make a rectangle I want to give you the measurements It's 18 inches long, uh, a little bit more than 45 centimeters, and 25 centimeters, 10 inches long. I must tell you this, this will not be a long, long hat. If you want to make it longer, uh, you can uh, start with more chains. I'm gonna start with 41 chains, one chain for the uh, starting chain. You see these two sides look different. If you want to use here as a brim, it will look like that. I think it's not bad. So I can make it with a brim. Uh, nothing changed actually. Uh, only thing is while I'm joining here, uh, I can make a different joining for uh, the brim part for only here. I made this with 5.5 millimeter hook. When I'm a tie hand crochet, especially while I'm making single crochets, uh, so I recommend to you to uh, make a sample. Start with 11. Um, chains use this stitch and make a little piece uh, and measure it so you can find your own measurements um, when you complete all of them just wrap it around your he uh, head if it fits then it's okay important thing is here i started from here complete from here so your rock hands must be an even number and sorry for my voice i was all, almost choking <laughs> uh, i eat something too fast something um a, a dessert actually and i can't help i love them but i'm totally fine <laughs> right now and uh, when we complete this we are gonna fold it join it from here and here and that's all now i'm gonna show you how to make this stitch actually i have another video about it i'm gonna put it here so you can watch it too start with a slip knot then make 41 chains I made 41 chains. If you want to change this number, there is no multiples. You can start with any number. 
Now turn your chains. We are going to use this back bounce. Skip this first one. Insert into the next and make a single crochet. Uh, we are going to make single crochets for each row, but uh, hang on style. So before we are inserting here, you see this single crochet, we are going to insert into this left leg here. Insert your hook from here, then insert from the stitch, grab the yarn, you will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all. Again, you can see this left leg. Insert, insert, wrap the yarn, pull through two. Okay, insert, grab the yarn, pull through two. So it will look like that. We're gonna repeat this till the end. I'll meet you at the end. I'm almost at the end. Finish with a herringbone single crochet, chain one, turn. Now we are going to make same things but uh, uh, from different rotate. So I'm going to insert into this stitch but not this way. I'm going to insert it from the back, grab this yarn. Oh, sorry. Grab it and make a single crochet. So we start with a single crochet. And you see this one is on the left again. You see? Insert from here and insert from the next stitch. Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over and pull through all. Insert from here and here. Pull through all. Maybe it seems a little too um, hard to make but it's not just try it okay insert from here you're gonna get used to it uh, very easily insert Let me look. Keep going till the end. I'm almost at the end again.
that's the last stitch don't miss this one if you want you can put a stitch marker here and here if you're a starter I recommend you to put stitch markers chain one turn and we will repeat the first row insert here put a single crochet While I'm making this first row, I will not just insert into this loop, okay? I'm gonna insert under the loop. You see this front loop, back loop, and there is a kind of one more loop here. If you don't want to insert from here, if you want to insert from stitch, There will be a line like we have here. It's not important. It's your, it's up to your uh, preference. But I like it with this way, and it's easier. Just insert, because a little bit hard to insert into this stitch. This way is easier. And when you turn back, you're going to repeat these two rows again and again, but I want to show you here. When you turn back, just um, uh, finish the row, of course. When you turn back, we're going to insert from the stitch. So there will be a line I want to show you here. If you haven't insert um, under the stitch, there will be one more line between these two. Okay, it's up to you. I made 56 rows, uh, but um, it's not important. Important thing is here measurements. And I like to use here as a brim here, actually. So I'm going to start the joining from the front part. I'm going to join a little bit, then turn my work. Make a chain first. Insert from this stitch. Here. Again, you see a front loop, back loop, first loop. I'm going to insert under this first loop. And insert from this stitch, grab the yarn, pull through. Insert under all the loops, insert from the stitch, make a slip stitch. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nein. Ten. I think that's enough. It will look like that. So turn your work. Just craft a loop and insert from this first empty stitch and find the first empty stitch again, this one. Make a slip stitch. Insert both loops, both loops, a slip stitch. Use the both loops for each side. Keep joining till the end. Making the last one, then make a chain. Cut your yarn, but uh, leave a little bit long tail. And this part will look like that also. We can join it, we could join it with a better way, but I don't want to confuse you anymore. That's enough. <laughs> so grab a needle. I'm gonna um, sew here from the back side because I think I will not use a pom pom. Not sure. I will join here and then take a look at it. Uh, if you want to use a pom-pom, you can uh, make the sewing part from the front. Just a bit. beginning again just close here don't broke your yarn <laughs> I'm trying so hard if you have a little bit opening here you can Put some stitches here, but while we are making this, just be sure it will not look bad from the right side. Time to time, check it. Uh, that's all. I uh, hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, 
Swiss Crochet is my Instagram address. It's also my website, Revolveri, Etsy, Pinterest, blah, blah. You can find me anywhere you want. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.